Hey finders and welcome back to Fortune Finds. Today I'm bringing you my festive holiday lip recommendations. Lipsticks, lip glosses, lip balms. I'm bringing you everything you could possibly need. Maybe you're on a budget, maybe you want a splurge. I'm giving you all the ranges, all the ranges of textures, all the ranges of comfort, and all the ranges of price. Just wanna remind you, if you're not yet subscribed, make sure you do that and also click the bell button next to it. This way you get a notification every time I'm uploading a new video here on my channel. And without further ado, let's stop babbling and let's get on to my holiday 2019 lipstick recommendations video. I did just film this makeup look, so if you're interested in this, this is a cool toned holiday inspired makeup look. However, you can wear this all year round. Honestly, I feel like holiday looks are perfect all year round. However, I just wanted to do something with cool tone shadows because I just feel like people who look better in cool tones often get left out. I feel like 95% of the content on any social media is usually warm tone shadows, lipsticks, warm tone, everything. So I did a cool tones look. And if you're interested in it, I think this will be my next video that I upload. So again, be sure you are subscribed and click that bell button. This way you get the notification when this goes up. I'm wearing a nude lip, so I kind of want to try some of the glosses because I have some holiday glosses that I feel like would look festive over a nude lip. This is the Wet n Wild Color Icon Lip Gloss in the shade Gemini. It's like super reflective. I was pulling like festive lip glosses and I thought this would be fun. I am not like a metallic kind of gal, but let's put this on so I can show you. It's just like really gold. You see how gold that is? But I wanted to see what this would look like if I just pat it in the center of my lips. I mean, it's not that bad, actually. I kind of like it over a nude lip. Honestly, the few times that I've tried this, I kind of just line my lips and put this in the middle. This looks really good with this lip combo. If you're interested in what I have on my lips, the Koki Retractable Lip Liner in the shade Dusty Rose, and then I put Maybelline Blushing Beige Lipstick over top. I also would like to mention this one. This is the e.l.f. Modern Metals Lip Gloss. This one is a little bit more tame. This is kind of like a clear gloss with gold flecks in the middle. I'm just gonna put this over it, and I'll put this all over the lip. But that is super pretty. I would line my lips and then put this all over it. I think this gives a really nice sheen to the lips. It makes them look really plump. I have worn this several times, but again, I feel like glitter is just perfect for the holidays. This makes a statement and this is sure to make a really juicy and affordable pout for you. Another lip gloss that I want to mention, which I've worn this so many times, I'm not gonna put it on today, but I will swatch it on the back of my hand. This is the Fenty Beauty Diamond Milk Lip Gloss. But I would say out of the three, this one is the most wearable. It gives you a really nice shine. Like it just makes your lips look so big. And there's something about these Fenty glosses that they just make your lips look so smooth. No, they're not designed to plump your lips. So you put them on and you're not gonna feel like a tingling sensation, but they just are so moisturizing that they smooth out the line of your lips and that just makes your lips look plumper and just more youthful and really juicy. So again, I think out of the three that I just mentioned, this is definitely the most expensive one, but also the most wearable. If you are someone who was more on the conservative side when it comes to makeup and you're interested in a glittery gloss, I think this one is your best bet. But you can make anything wearable. Like I said, I would never wear the Gemini one by itself because that is just like way too much for me, but over this nude lip, it looks really, really nice. So makeup, it's all about playing, figuring out what works for you and what coincides with like your taste. I definitely have a bunch of reds in front of me that I would like to mention because it's December. Keeping on the Fenty theme, I'm not gonna put this one on either because I recently put this on in a video and you guys have seen me wear this so many times. Fenty Beauty Lip Center Paint in Uncensored. And that is just like the prettiest red. This is such a universal red. The fact that it has a cool undertone and has like a blue undertone to it. This will go with any complexion. Their lip center paints are my favorite matte lipstick across the board just because they are so freaking comfortable and they feel so nice on the lips and they last a really long time. They never make my lips feel crusty. They never accentuate the lines in my lips. So these have always been a go-to for me. A little bit pricey, but they do last a really long time. Keeping in the theme of a red lip, I definitely wanna try this one 
one on for you. I don't think I've ever tried this on on camera, but this is an affordable matte lipstick from Wet n Wild Liquid Cat Suit in the shade Flame of the Game. I love this. I think that Wet n Wild's liquid cat suits are amazing. They stay on a really long time and they're super affordable. And I love this doe foot applicator. If you can see, it kind of has like a divot at the end, at the bottom of it. And that just really helps to ensure that it hugs your lips. And honestly, it helps and you don't really need a lip liner. So and I'm gonna show you guys lip liners too in this video. Red lipsticks are difficult to apply and if you don't apply them correctly, it always shows up in photos. So make sure if you're going to a holiday party, you're obviously going to be taking pictures. Make sure you take the time to line your lips. However, I'm not going to be too fussy today simply because this is a lip swatch video and I would like to get through this in a timely fashion. There is something so special about this color. I just, I love it. Personally, I always like an orange leaning red. I think it just looks good with my complexion. You see this lipstick from across the room and I mean, honestly, I'm looking in the monitor here and it's just like stunning. I will swatch this on the back of my hand so we can compare all of the reds to one another. But as you can see from this swatch, this one is definitely more orange than the uncensored by Fenty. I think the first time I wore this, Mike and I went to Los Angeles and I wore this all night and I didn't need to reapply at all. This is if I'm being honest, this is a little bit more uncomfortable than the Fenty one. These are a little bit drier. However, they're not like super uncomfortable. I've been super picky with my makeup and I feel like 2019 was a really great year for me in the sense that I really was good about narrowing down what I wanted in my beauty collection and what I didn't. And I think I have a pretty good grasp on the formulas that I like and the formulas that I don't. So this is definitely one that I like. This is the kind of lipstick though that looks really great with a tan. I know this is a holiday video, but if you're gonna go on vacation, and you're gonna be somewhere where you're tanning you're just gonna be a little bit darker than you usually are like this is a beautiful shade especially when you have a tan or even if you're here on the east coast with me if you do a spray tan or a fake tan like today i did a, i did a fake tan in my bathroom after i showered today because i did get my hair done yesterday and it's a lot blonder than it usually is so for me i was like to offset the blonde and to make it not wash me out too much i'm gonna have to self tan so i self tan and i just feel like it looks really good with my skin tone beautiful stunning you're gonna turn heads like i said and i think i've said enough and i think we need to move on this is the jolie cosmetics liquid lipstick in the shade amore i love this i love this and i gotta be honest i received a pack of three in my ipsy bag and i was really skeptical i was like ipsy is not gonna send me good liquid lipsticks like i opened it i saw them and was like i'm just too picky at the end of the day i'm just too picky but holy shit i love Jolie Cosmetics or liquid lipsticks are bomb. And this is more of a true red, but these glide on. So I would say take your time applying this one more so than the Wet n Wild one. If you're familiar with Fenty Beauty, I love their matte lipsticks, but they're kind of a bitch to put on because they're just so liquidy. So when I put these on, first of all, I knock off all the excess from the wand. I take this and like push it up against the sides to like squeeze out the excess from the wand. And then I will line my lips from the center out. And if you don't line your lips before applying it and you don't get rid of the excess before going to the outer edges of your lips, it's gonna run. This formula won't run as much. However, I find that with this wand, it's it's a little bit more difficult to line your lips. There's no hugging with this one. Whereas the Wet n Wild one is like a dream to apply. That's just so easy because it hugs the lips and makes it so that you don't really need a lip liner. Ranking and comfort, if you're someone that's picky with a matte liquid lipstick, this is the most comfortable, this is the second most comfortable, and then the Wet n Wild is the chalkiest feeling. It kind of feels like powdery on the lips. So this is the least comfortable one, but still like I'm really picky and if I can deal with it, I'm sure you can deal with it. And I think this will look good on you even if you're a little bit more pale, you know? This is the color that I'm wearing. It is definitely more comparable to the Uncensored by Fenty. However, it's a little lighter. So Fenty is definitely the darkest red. Even though they're all red, they're very, very different. Okay, let's move on to a straight up lipstick. Joa Cosmetics Color Squad in the shade Adulting such a beautiful beautiful red these are super creamy i would definitely line your lips with a lip liner before applying this as you can see like it has a sheenness to it it is a bullet lipstick it is super creamy i want to say they 
there are hydrating factors in these lipsticks. I think they have, is it coconut oil? I'm not sure what's in it, but I will put it up on the screen. Not very long lasting. I would say if you're not eating, it will last you like an hour, an hour and a half, maybe like two hours. But if you're eating and drinking consistently, it's gonna transfer, it's gonna move, and it's gonna leave your lips. I have two glosses, pigmented glosses that I've spoken about several times here on my channel. These are the Maybelline Vivid Hot Lacquers. This one is in the shade Classic, which is a deeper red, and then So Hot, which is a brighter red. This is So Hot, which I love. This is like my vacation like gloss right here. Classic is so beautiful, but definitely a more traditional deeper red, like a burgundy red. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put Classic over this because I just feel like it goes with this better. Apply this to the center of my lips. And you see how that just brings a little bit of light to the center of my lips and makes them look more like pouty and open? I would pair these two together. I think these make a really nice combo. However, these glosses are so freaking pigmented. You don't even need to put a lipstick on underneath them. Like that is so freaking pigmented. It feels really nice. They are really hydrating. It's a thicker gloss though. So if you're someone that doesn't like a thick gloss, it's not very runny. It's not very watery. It's just like thick. You can feel it. I would line your lips because like I said, they're thick and they will move through the little lines around your mouth. And this is all just like about preference. If you're more of a liquid lipstick, go with the liquid lipsticks. If you're more of a bullet, I like the Jello one. If you like a gloss, then I would do these because they're just so pigmented that you get the effect of a lipstick, but the feel of a gloss. You know what I'm saying? So I have the Pat McGrath. These came in her mini, what are they called? Matte Trance. I have two shades. I have the shade Obsessed and Elsin, which are the two reds. Elsin is my favorite. This one is Elsin. And then this one is Obsessed. Elsin is more of a red, red, I guess. And Obsessed has more of an orange hue. I'm gonna go ahead and do something different. I'm gonna put one on top of my lip and one on the bottom of my lip. Put Obsessed on the bottom. Definitely an orange red. I'm gonna do such a bad job with this because I can't rub my lips together. Oh God. But I definitely wanna show you these side by side. Can you see the difference? Okay, please do not judge me on my makeup ability based on how I just did my lips with these. You could just see the difference. Definitely more orange and definitely more of a true red. I really like Elsin. This is like your classic red. Whereas if you like more of an orange warm tone red, I would go with Obsessed. I need to take this off and then I will tell you more about these lipsticks just because I'm looking in the mirror and I'm like, oh my God, you cannot call yourself a makeup artist with your lips looking like that. Let's apply this. No, let's, let me, yeah, let me apply this because now I have nothing on my lips. This is the collab about the pout tinted lip balm in the shade red carpet treatment. Yep, I was right. Let's go ahead, let's talk about, I'm sorry if I'm confusing you, but I just feel like I can't sit here with nothing on my lips because honestly I need something hydrating. My lips are burning from taking, putting on lipstick and taking it off constantly. So these little guys, I like the formula, okay? I'm gonna say that. The thing is, is that I don't own a regular full-size matte lipstick from Pat McGrath. I bought these lip trios because they were $25 for a set of three, and I was like, you know what? I have a lot of lipstick, but I've been dying to try the formula, so I bought it because it was at an affordable price. I like that they're small because I have so many lipsticks that I just, I don't need another full-size lipstick, but they're small, and you can't, like, push them up all the way when you're doing your lips because it will break. Like, this is very flimsy, and although it's a matte lipstick, it's kind of like soft in the actual bullet. It's hard to really get in there. So you definitely need to line your lips when you're using this again, because like I literally push it up like this much and do my lip and it's kind of, it's just hard and it's bending and it like bends like within the bullet. They're kind of a pain in the ass. Again, I don't know if that's to be said about the full size Pat McGrath lipsticks, but the mini ones are a little difficult. They stay for hours. They're such a great formula. I wore Elsin when Mike and I went to Napa. We went wine tasting like all day and I didn't reapply it for like the entire day and it was on. I definitely recommend them. They are a comfortable matte lipstick, but I just, I don't love them in the mini bullet. I just find that they're just like cheap and kind of flimsy. So let's move on to what I'm actually wearing on my lips, which is the collab about the pout tinted lip balm. This is just great. Like I love this. I find this to be so easy. This is me. Like I work full time. I work in an office. And I don't feel comfortable wearing a red lip just cause I feel like that draws like too much attention. And that's just not me. 
So this is something that's great if you're not someone that really wants to commit to the boldness of a red lip, but maybe you want a little bit of redness on your lips just because you like it. I don't know. I understand what I'm saying because I feel that way. So this is great for work. It's really hydrating. It's super nice. It's very comfortable. You definitely don't need to line your lips with this. You can just throw this on like you would a lip balm and it's going to look great. Let's hop into other things because I've talked about this recently and I featured this in a video and I feel like that's all that I really need to say about that okay i'm just gonna take some of my foundation and just like fix my face i just want to give some mentions to the lip liners that i've been loving for the holiday season i never know how to say this Ila Masqua coloring pencil lip crayon in the shade lust it's a red but it kind of does have a hot pink hue to it which i like to line my lips with a hot pink when i'm wearing a red lipstick just because i think it gives a little bit more dimension to the lip. I feel like I just like grew up using a wooden lip liner, so I'm used to it. I like them. I know people kind of say they're scratchy, but I find that a wooden lip liner, it's easier to line your lips with because say you're going and like you make a mistake, it doesn't really show up because I find that wooden lip liners are not that pigmented. So if you make a mistake, you can literally just go like that and then the mistake's gone. Lime Crime Lip Liner in the shade Poppy. It's not really showing how bright it is, but it's kind of like a bright orangey red. Really great for the holidays. This goes with all of my red lipsticks. And I find that again, because it is kind of orangey, it's like an orangey pink shade. It gives a little bit more dimension. So again, this is Lime Crime in the shade Poppy. You guys have seen me use this so many times. It's so pretty, so versatile. And it literally goes with all of the reds that are on my hand. So it's just really beautiful. And it's a great lip liner. Lime Crime in the shade Pumpkin. This is more of a brick red really pretty again this would really go with any of them as well but it is more on the brown side so i feel like this is kind of like a neutral red lip liner um but i'm a really big fan of this maybe i will line my lips with this i'm not quite sure so this is a very rare occurrence i really don't talk about kylie cosmetics just because i'm really not a big fan of her products no shade that's just a personal preference this is the mary jo k i really like her lip liners honestly definitely creamier than the wooden one that i mentioned so the ila Moscow, however you say that definitely creamier than that these are also creamier than the lime crime ones and the lime crime ones these two right here are super freaking creamy i think this makes a really great lip liner to not only line your lips but color in your lips it's really easy to just fill in your whole lip with them it kind they kind of have like a creamy lipstick consistency the only thing I'm going to say about them is that the quality of the lip liner is nice. It's going to last you. It's going to stay. But like, can you see the pigment? Now you can't. Like, I don't know what it is, but like with Kylie Cosmetics, her lip liners, like the actual pigment of the liner, like sits in the holder. It's not like a part of this. So I know you can like shade this down and sharpen it, but the pigment just kind of floats in the pencil, if that makes any sense. So here, let me see. So if I go like that, it comes out. See? But then if I go like this, it goes in. It's really wild and it kind of aggravates me, honestly, because I think these are pretty pricey, but I do like the formula. I'm gonna use the Lime Crime Lip Liner in the shade Pumpkin, just because I haven't used this one in a while and I do really like it. And it's pointy because I sharpened it. Underrated. Their lip liners are really underrated. So this is the last product that I'm going to be talking about. This is the Fresh Beauty Sugar Icon. And it's minty smelling. I love this. If you've used a Fresh Beauty, one of their tinted chapsticks, what are they called? Tinted lip balms. It's the same exact formula, but like the pigment in this is so freaking pretty. Like how gorgeous is this? It's a lip balm. Like it's really hydrating. It feels really beautiful on the lips. However, it's gonna move. It's gonna travel through the fine lines of your lips. So I personally would make sure that you always line your lips when using this product. A lip liner is waxy. So that waxy consistency is going to act as a barrier so that when your lip product decides to move the wax is like no 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 you can't go this way because the wax just really keeps everything in place i'm gonna call it quits with this one i think i gave you a really nice roundup of my favorite holiday lips so i really hope that you guys enjoyed this video if you did be sure to give it a thumbs up down below this way i know that you really like my lip swatch videos and i will keep them coming at you also leave me some love in the comments let me know do you own any of the lip products that i mentioned today are you going to go out and purchase any of the ones that i recommended or let me know what your favorite lipstick 
lip liner, lip balm, whatever it may be. Let me know what your holiday lip has been. I don't care if it's red, I don't care if it's metallic, I don't care if it's blue, green, yellow, orange. Let me know down below in the comments because I want to check it out. I want to know what it is you guys are wearing and I love lip products. You guys know I love me a good lip swatch video. So just again, if you're not subscribed, be sure to do that. Click the bell button this way you get a notification. This look will be coming at you very soon. So make sure you get notified when it goes live. I had a great time as always. Thank you guys so much for joining me and I will see you in my next one. Bye finders. Mwah.